recording totally mm. <laughs> so this is my own homebrew world right this is the world i made up it's fairly young so be gentle um, no <laughs> destroy everything attack the queen first um rory oh, rape the queen silly <laughs> can, you, can you guys not <laughs> rory uh you've you've you're you're a new creature. You have no idea what you are exactly being a, a new a new generation of creatures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So so you walk you find yourself walking outside of a cave and All not right. not knowing exactly who and what you are. But uh looking around you are in a forest <laughs> for obvious reasons. You hear a bunch of birds chirping in the distance, some growling and howling in the distance it is about midday so you still got all day to do whatever you want to do what would you like to do um i'm gonna try to listen for water and head towards that okay make a survival check so roll a d20 slash r d20 bam okay you got a 12 and your survival is plus one so you got a 13 so, uh, your first natural instinct is water. You need water. So, uh, you don't necessarily hear running water, but uh, what you instead hear is uh, a grouping of what seems to be herbivores. You can tell by the deep groans they emit. So, you head off in that direction, and you find a very, very large lake. And you see them drinking about said lake. What did you say? What was the last like part? I see the lake, and then what? And you see a bunch of uh, these herbivores, uh, almost like cow-like creatures, uh, drinking uh, the lake. I'm going to drink the lake. All right. So you drink it. You have a nice long slurp. And then uh, these creatures start looking at you in a weird way, because, again, once more, you're new to them. And uh, they seem to almost back away from you now, noticing your dragon-like scales. On your tail, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm curious about the animals, but I'm not hostile, so I kind of try to go closer nicely, like trying to pet them. Okay. Friendly. Animal handling check. So D20. What am I rolling? You, you will always be rolling a d20 for the most part, unless I tell you oh, otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, shit. That's six. horrible. So yeah, I yeah, don't want to be my friend. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, your draconic nature is obviously throwing them off, and like the moment you, you reach out for them, they immediately start sprinting away from you. Not long. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> it's a one shot. <laughs> uh, uh, shortly afterwards, you would hear uh, Amelia in the distance. Ah, what? Oh, yeah, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for. Uh... All right, so so you hear this uh, girl uh, chatting in the distance to, what? Yeah, I know. I... Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah. Okay. You guys aren't there, but I just want to give Aurora like a nice look picture. Okay. okay. So you you start hearing chattering in the distance as um, Amelia, these cow-like creatures just ran by both you and Kesu in in like a hurry. Shit, I haven't acted a million so long. <laughs> Shiny things. Well, there's no way to, uh, well, yeah, I know shiny things. Oh, God. <laughs> well, what do you think that was about, Amelia? Is George uh, Casey? I wonder what that was about. Let's go check it out. <laughs> All right. So they start walking towards the lake, and you see these two uh, humanoid figures coming out of uh, the forest, the tree line. Uh, describe yourself, Amelia. How do you look? Oh, shit. I don't even remember what I look like. Oh, my <laughs> God. So you see this, uh, this uh, a, a lot smaller than a girl next to her, but uh, nonetheless smaller little girl. Uh, roughly around 16 years old with slightly with slight little slight curls in her hair 
only reaches up to her shoulders. Uh, you see that she's wearing goggles and she has a very, very large wrench. A branch? Wrench. 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 Oh, okay. And, and next to her, you see a um, half-elvish woman, half-human, half-elf, uh, with black eyes, black hair, stands roughly around 5'9", uh, uh, has a bow on her, but not currently weaponized, but uh, has a notebook, and it seems to be taking notes. There's another person. Yeah. Hello. Oh. That, no, that's okay. not George. That's not George. Oh. Creepy. I, I was George. Are you are you ready? Huh? Are you ready, or are you still making your character sheet? I'm doing my thing, but if you were doing a map, I wanted to see it. Oh well, no, I'm not doing a map. He right doesn't now. have one yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah just, I just, just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll work on my thing then. Yeah. So yeah, so so you see these two girls. So I see an elf and then like a tiny regular person. Yeah, it's a human. Yes. Okay. I thought I was half elf. No, you are human. No, I was half elf. Remember? Oh yeah, I, no, that's yeah. right. That's right, Amelia. Sorry. Okay, so I see an elf you, and a half see, elf. You see, no, you, you see two half elves, both yeah. females. Oh, okay. Two half elves, both females. Not that I really understand what a half elf is, apparently, but. Mm. They, they is confusing. Yeah. Do you want to do anything? Do I want to do anything? Mm-hmm. Are you asking me? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm gonna, since I don't totally know what they are, mm -hmm. and they don't seem like animals, I'm gonna like hide in a bush because I am mostly animal. Okay, make a stealth. And check. I'm gonna watch them. Okay, make a stealth okay. check. So roll another d20. Ooh. Perfect. Damn. You should get. She got a 19 16? total. Oh. Uh, yeah. 19. Plus three. Yeah, but. I forget those things are there. Yep. Same. So, so uh, Amelia, when when you enter, uh, you look around this lake, and yeah, there, you there, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this lake. But the animals that ran past you clearly ran away from this lake. Let's see, I'm trying to think of it. I go up to the edge of the lake, see if there's any, uh, gems. <laughs> Make a perception. Is there any what? Gems. Oh. We're My starting at level one. Uh, we're starting at level three. Three? Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah. Yes, you do see a gem. I grab it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty deep into the water. I dig it with my wrench. I dig, I dig it Amelia with my wrench. No, I mean it's in a lake. <laughs> okay, so I Amelia is the short one with the goggles and the Yeah, so so <laughs> <laughs> So you see this you see this sixteen year old girl look into the lake and then her eyes glimmer in in, in amazement as she puts on the goggles, drops the wrench on the floor, and immediately dives into the water and starts swimming. As the other half <laughs> As the other half elf just kind of stares at her and just nods her head in disappointment. <laughs> <sighs> there she goes again. She really put a leash on her. <laughs> yeah, but you don't hear this, so fuck uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> You're clearly under the water. Clearly. Uh, would you like to do anything uh, as this happened, uh, Aurora? Um, they seem kind of interesting to me so i'm gonna kind of like poke my head out closer because i'm not really thinking mm -hmm. so i kind of like maybe poke my head out of the i'm gonna kind of creep out of the bush towards them okay so you slowly but surely creep your way out uh towards the this newfound group and uh this woman uh looks at you uh she readies her she readies her bow and, and as as she sees you coming, but she doesn't necessarily point at you. And as she she looks at you and she says, "What? What are you?" Do I have speech? That's your call. So I'm completely brand new. It, it's. I mean, to me, yes, you are brand new. But if you want to be able to speak a language, that's your call. No, I no. don't. Okay. Oh, fun. I'm gonna learn. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna kind of freeze and like blink at her. And then um, she's gonna she's gonna uh, take a step closer, and then and then closer, just very very slowly. Uh, she's I'm, usually... I'm I'm just kind of keeping my eyes on her as she does this. Yeah. I'm not moving. I'm not moving away. So that moving uh, closer. So that uh, uh, with her left hand, um, for, uh, she reaches out towards you. Do you, do you allow her to pet you? Yes. Soft <laughs> kitty. Soft kitty. <laughs> so she starts petting you, and, and and I'm pretty sure you like it. Yes, I'm gonna start purring. By the way. <laughs> oh God. And then and then she's gonna say, "You are very interesting." And then by this point, you would hear uh, the girl that jumped into the water uh, as she comes back out for air. <laughs> <laughs> Holding a gem with a, the, with a dopey, dopey face, face, just like ah. <laughs> as as Amelia has successfully received the gem that she was looking for. Fuck yeah! I'm gonna immediately like twitch my face in her direction and like stare at her. And then uh, Casey is gonna be like, Amelia, stop! You're, you're startling her. <laughs> and then you would, and then you would see this, this. How do you describe yourself? <laughs> cat being a thing. It's not a cat. What? It's a. It's a. I, I just was just making a joke. It's a foxum, right? Foxum humanoid with horns. A chimera. <laughs> yeah. So a fox, chimera, a fox, uh, possum with, do with I, horns. Do I need to send another? No, I'm gonna no, send you another picture. No, no, no. I need to get this vocally so that I can be better at descriptions later I, I know how you look i've seen the picture you don't need to send another i have it. It anyway. i'm sending it to linda because she has a horrible memory why, why do you not yes you, you do. do you tell me all the time oh, fuck you guys when's my birthday it's okay august my 19th. memory is horrible too what'd you say august 19th oh they said 18 oh my wow what a no. <laughs> oh this is november 18th what's george yes June 25th. Is, is that correct, George? Somebody slow clap. So, yes? Yes. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So, so, yeah, anyways, uh, Amelia, Casey has ordered you to stop. You are startling her. I can't swim back. I can't listen to <laughs> As she slowly starts to descend back into the water. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Casey would be like, oh, "God damn!" And then she uh, ties a <laughs> ties a rope to an arrow and then shoots it into your direction for you to grab on. Meanwhile, I'm just like <laughs> seeing these mom. people that I like. Yeah. What is this? I look at the thing. Well, it's like the water. Okay, the gem is not that big. Oh, oh is it? No. How big? How big is it? It's about the size of your hand. What? It's about the size of your hand. I grabbed the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you gotta remember, two other people can't see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I, I have to. Gra I grabbed the. Rope. <laughs> okay, so she grabs the the rope, and then and then Casey starts pulling her in, and then as Casey's pulling her in, Casey yells and says, "All right." Now don't do anything stupid that will startle her. <laughs> and then she looks at you, Amelia, and then looks back at Rory, and then back at Amelia. Don't oh, startle her. Hold on, hold on. I got a face. I'm gonna send it to the group. Okay. My t my tail is starting to twitch in curiosity. So uh, once Amelia gets to the um, back onto shore. Uh, Casey turns back around and looks at you and notices that your tail's twitching a bit. She's going. She has no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's just curiosity. Yeah. So, so uh, she points at herself and she says, Case Sue. And then this she. This is my face. Case Sue? I, I, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I you're, you you do realize there's a chair blocking your Cintiq, and then your head is now blocking your laptop. <laughs> okay. So okay, suit, and Amelia, nice. and she gestures to Amelia. Amelia, say something. What am I doing? <laughs> Introducing yourself, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Amelia. I like gems. I'm in love with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, so Amelia will say, "I'm Amelia, and I love gems." Don't touch it. Don't, Don't even look at it. <laughs> as she as she slowly puts it back into her drenched clothing. I'm gonna try to like imitate both of you, and I'm gonna try to like just say words. Uh, make a performance check. So roll d twenty. Uh, okay. Roll a d ten twenty. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen plus one. You're so you're doing it pretty good. It's a really good impression of K Su. It's a really good impression. <laughs> and then <gasps> when 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 you say Amelia, it, it kinda like rolls over your tongue and it's like really easy to to say out loud. You so so you can say you can say Amelia pretty easily, but K Su is a little I bit wanted hard. to call Amelia Gems. Gems? That's fine too <laughs> if you want. That's adorable. <laughs> so 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 uh you say Ka Su and then you look at Amelia and then you go Gems. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Amelia. And then, and then Casey looks at you and says, "You're gems now." You're gems now. <laughs> just, 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 just roll I'm along. I'm just gonna with this. like tilt my head and just smile and say, "Gems." <laughs> wow. And then uh, Casey takes out a, uh, the same journal and continues to write in it. Uh, George, are you done yet? Uh, loading spell sheet. I thought you were barbarian. Huh? Right, weren't, wasn't your character going to be a barbarian? Yeah, I think oh, no, we switched yeah. over to necromancy so, he can, so she can eat everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's mm. right. Okay, well, you have your character ready, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got it all good. Okay, so you've been following these two... Uh, half elves for a long time now. People. Yep. Because you're you're honest. You're, <laughs> you're honestly curious about civilization in general because obviously slime slime folk do not have a good uh, social life. So your curiosity peaked and you've been following them and you see these three creatures communicating with one another. What do you do? Stay within the shadows, but horribly <laughs> hidden. Roll a d20. Did you say stay within the shadows horribly hidden? Yes. Because it's a, it's a slime. Did you roll? How, how do I roll in game? Uh, oh, you're, you're in the game? Oh, cool. Slash R space 1d20. Alright, so you're actually, nice. you're actually <laughs> hiding pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Not as All obvious right. as you said you are. Nice, yeah. yeah. Now a bright purple slime and green foliage. <laughs> so, uh, so Kesu, Kesu would uh, gesture again. She goes Kesu at herself, uh, points at Amelia and says Gem, and then <laughs> gestures gestures towards you in hopes of a response. So she knows that it's to me. Uh... Yeah, towards uh, towards Rory. Yeah. So so, Kesu is trying to communicate with Rory, but does not know how to. So she repeats again. She points at herself. Kesu points at Amelia. Says Gem. Gems. And points at Rory, and waits for a response. Growl my name, and I say Rory, but with like a cute little growl to it. 
Oh, so like um, the girl from Dolly and the Franks, right? Yeah, kind of. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Don't you love her? <laughs> no idea who you guys are talking about. You child, will. Child, child of version of Zero Two. She, he, he, he hasn't seen it. He hasn't <gasps> seen it. I know. <laughs> I know. Calm yourself. It, it is so adorable. How can you call yourself an anime fan and not, not know anything about that right now? I'm a manga re reader, okay? I'm sure there's a manga of it. There probably it's is. It's not on my repertoire right now. Anyways, <laughs> so you guys can see the scene right now, can't, right? You guys, yes. So the blue light. I see line, a K and an L. Yeah, so the K is Keisu, uh, L is Linda, yeah, A yeah, is A is Aurora. Is there a way to, like, zoom out? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a bar next to the scroll that has a box. Why do I have this up? I don't need it. How do I, um... Take I the, just need to see the K and the L, right? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Okay. And then you can always just move the screen around whenever you need to. Yeah. And then uh, I put I put this here so that uh, when it comes to fighting, this is what you can do every turn, for the most part. Just give you a heads up. But uh, so so you you growl the name Rory, and then uh. Casey immediately starts writing it into her book. What are you doing, Amelia? Me? Amelia. Okay. Casey's biting into my what? Casey is writing Rory into her journal. What are you doing? I just look at uh, Rory's body, just like walk around, and just looking at her, studying her, studying. And you thought Tiberius was weird? I'm not going to be like, oh, these look so nice. I'm just going to be walking around like a kid, curious, and then just stop and then look at back at my jam. Okay, so this little girl starts walking around you in curiosity. Are you doing anything about it or are you going to let her? Um, I might, like, try to touch her. Not, like, aggressively, just kind of, like, you reach know. Your, reach her hand out. Yeah, curiously, like, what is this? <laughs> Do I need to roll anything? Uh, it depends if Amelia likes it or not. <laughs> Do you let her touch you? I, I put it the jam in my pocket, right? Yeah, you've already yeah. put it away. I just still like, uh, like, how would you say it? Just move a little bit away, like, my body, but not, like, step back. Just, like, lean was, back a yeah, bit. Yeah. But uh, I'm not really worried. So eventually you touch her is the final <laughs> point of that story. <laughs> and then, um, so you touch her and there is connection between you two now. Congrats. I'm um, smiling and I'm like, can I, wait, am I doing? Huh? You can do, yeah, what do you I doing? wanted to like smile and then start like touching her more and maybe like start hugging her in my tail. Oh, like, all over the place. <laughs> No, no, not, not like poking, like, first it was just like I set my hand on you, and then you let it happen, and then I just kind of like, like, super friendly and just blonde. Okay. Okay, so as the race that you- I the race... made a new friend. <laughs> uh-huh, that's great, Amelia, as she continues to write. <laughs> um, so the language you can speak, Aurora, is draconic, so that's dragon language. Cool. Could, yeah, because you are part dragon. Uh, it was your call if you could speak common or not, but I guess you're learning. So now you can only speak dragon. Congrats. Did you Woo! do it? Did you really? Yeah, yeah he, he fell, fell off again. Yeah, fucking loser. Anyways. Hey, boy. So. So, uh. Beauty. Uh, Casey's gonna try to. Try to sketch you, but as you are like. Wrapping yourself around uh, Amelia, you're you're making it really hard for her to try to sketch you. <laughs> <laughs> and Amelia, are you just letting this happen? She's not touching my gem. I'm fine with that. For what you know. Put my hand on my pocket. <laughs> it's but... still it's still there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um. 
So Casey will go up to you, Amelia, and be like, okay, okay, that's enough. We have to go investigate this cave. I know this is an interesting sight and everything, but we have to go. Can we bring her with us? I'm not going to stop her, but right now me and you have a mission. Uh, her just, she still has a hand, right? And you gotta look at the picture. <laughs> yes, she has hands. Yes, they're they're really large, but yes. Yeah, yeah I was trying to see if they were large or not. But they look kind of like possum hands, but like they're like bigger you. than ever. She's coming with us, and I just drag her along, walking ahead. Okay. I'm more than happy to follow. Uh, all right. So they start leading you uh, back to your cave, actually, the cave that you came out of. But, uh, yeah, do you, you want to do anything as, as they're leading you back to your cave? Uh, Rory? Uh, I will gonna... continue. Oh, yeah, yeah, I figure you're continuing to follow. Okay, okay, just, just throw that in. Oh, okay. yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to run ahead to my cave. Since I came out of it, and I know where it, like, I know it, All kind right. of. Alright, so they chase you down, and then they reach your cave, and, like, you you see, you, you start settling in it like it's it's your own thing. Like, <laughs> jump on a rock or something and, like, kind of curl up and look down at them or something. Yeah. And the cave does go further, <laughs> deeper in. Uh, and you do have dark vision. <laughs> Okay. Because you're stupid. Because <laughs> you're stupid. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like the character race and everything is just, oh my god, you have like everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a tail, you have dark vision. You're supposed to be able to speak common, but you chose not to. So it's like, whatever, you got to speak dragon. <laughs> okay. So, uh... So uh, Casey will then um, take out a take out what seems to be a small chisel, and then starts uh, engraving into the wall in a language you do not understand. Neither one of you would understand this actually. Now that I think about it, me? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even understand it. I don't think so. I'm gonna like pull on her clothes and like look at her inquisitively. Oh, never mind. You can read it. Never mind. Amelia can read it. It, I can read it. Yeah. What is it? It's the nook and cranny symbol. Oh, it's, oh yeah. It's, okay. It's K and N, and mm -hmm. then uh, West. Mm. And what'd you say you're doing, Aurora? I like grabbed onto Casey's like clothing and like looked at her inquisitively, like I want her to explain what she's doing. And then she will try her best. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so so I don't get lost. Lost bad. <laughs> Exit. Home. <laughs> She's just I clearly don't understand. Yeah, and yeah. so I just kinda like blink and then like I don't know, get distracted by something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so they start going uh, deeper into this cave. Uh, George, if you were to follow, you have no place to hide. I hug the wall. <laughs> <laughs> All his. Yeah, make another yeah. <laughs> make make another stealth check with disadvantage. So roll twice, pick the lower one. So two. Two. <laughs> yeah. So as uh, so roughly about like fifteen, no, no, thirty feet into the the cave. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> About thirty feet into the cave, uh, you guys start hearing <laughs> slush, slush. <laughs> As you look behind and describe yourself, George, what do they see? <laughs> they, they see this large blob-like purple substance just crawling across the wall. Uh, no clothes. You're supposed no to be. Weapons. You're supposed to be humanoid, right? I can be. But you're not. Not at this moment. Okay. This is what I see, and I'm going to send you guys a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so. Where where are you sending it through? Uh, Skype. 
So, uh, Keisu sees this purple blob. And, uh, she immediately pulls out a torch and, uh, uh, lights it on fire. And then she looks at the what? blob and then she, she's like, great, blocking our exit. This is what Wobbles I see. Violently. <laughs> <laughs> he wobbles violently, he says. I'm curious and still non hostile, so I'm gonna go like get closer exactly. to it slowly. It is exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> Except for purple. I could have I could have oh, oh. Alright, so uh so this this interesting creature walks up to you and uh since since you're native to the wild you've actually known about her for a while now oh, oh i know about her creature yeah or her in particular for a while now you, oh, okay. you see her every so often in the cave so j just to start off on a good foot i use message Mm -hmm. Which I am trying to send you my character sheet right now, so yeah, no. I use message to her. Uh huh. I go. I've been watching you. Do you say it in common? No, I do oh, not say it in common. <laughs> I say it in. I say it in Fey. You say it in Fey. Okay. So uh, as you walk up to this uh, interesting blob creature, Rory, uh, a voice comes seeping through your your mind. In a language oh. you do not understand. God damn it. <laughs> I only understand sure. Draconic. <laughs> you know, I do have another, uh, uh, another option. I can talk that, but I don't want to use it yet. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm not freaked out by it. Like I said, I'm still innocent and I don't know the world and I'm not aggressive yet. But as so, of right now, you're curious to what the hell I just kind of, like, on. stop, and I, like, look up, look around, <laughs> look back at the creature, like, just, like, kind of, like, what the fuck type of expression on my face, like, what is going on? And then, uh, Keisu, uh, would have ran up to you and, uh, pulled you aside and, uh, pulled you behind her, so she's somewhat shielding you from this slime. And, uh, and then she looks at you, no! Points at the slime, bad! <laughs> Bad. Bad. I'm just gonna kind of like blink a couple of times and like I don't, I want to protest. Okay, Amelia, what are you doing? Because obviously, if I'm he's been watching, watching me, I probably have like a slight sense of like no, what? No, not like I've touched like a slight <laughs> sense of familiarity. I don't remember my intelligence or my wisdom, but I want to go up and touch it. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. Uh, message is a cantrip. Okay. Yep. Okay, so uh, huh? he's talking about his spell. His spell's a cantrip. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, as as this uh, chaos is ensued, um, as uh, KC is trying to hold back Aurora, trying to protect her, uh, Amelia just walks straight up to this purple blob and then just pokes it. As the jello ripples through the body. I just go like Enjoy acid, acid and it's just like. <laughs> huh? Enjoy acid damage. Alright. <laughs> so as you touch it, you take two points of acid damage as it burns your finger. Well, At which you point, know it hurts. At which point, I use message again and say bad, bad to her in common. Yeah, and that's what you hear. Bad, bad. And we know it talks. <laughs> and then um, Casey's going, what are you talking about? It's not talking. Magic. So <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to do anything, Aurora? I wanted to try to speak in Draconic, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, greeting or something. Okay, so you say hello in Draconic. Yeah. So immediately after you say hello in Draconic, Keisu, uh, her eyes uh, widen as a grin appears on her face. 
And she starts speaking to you and Draconic. Oh my god, you can speak dragon! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna jump and like look at like Keisu like, whoa! <laughs> and then she will Super say, Super excited all of a sudden. Yeah. And she will say, I'm so sorry, I'm learning so much about you. Uh, my name's Keisu. Uh, this is Amelia. I can speak dragon as well. As she is speaking in Draconic. So, none of you guys understand what she's saying, but these two <laughs> understand what she's saying. <laughs> Can I do something to the blob? What do you want to do? You have your wrench. I don't want to sacrifice my wrench. I was going to poke it with a stake. It burns. It doesn't blow my hand. Yeah, but the stake gets melted. So, I'm just going to keep bobbing it. <laughs> All right, and then she takes out her notes. <laughs> she writes in her notes that you can now speak Draconic. And now she knows. And yeah, she is so happy. So she'd be like, so how long have you been here? Where are you from? How are you created? And she starts bombarding you with a bunch of these questions that you probably don't actually know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, my face is getting hella nervous. I, I don't know. And, and then she's like, oh, oh, I, I, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, um, uh, oh. <laughs> Wow. You like gems, Amelia. I like animals. <laughs> Which is true to character, so. Uh, so she has this. Uh, and now she, uh, she'll say, um, have, have you heard anything, uh, weird in this cave like any any growls or or anything scary in draconic well yeah i assume so yeah uh do i just pick like yes or no like if i want to like add to the story or does it matter <laughs> it's it's your call it, it really doesn't matter one way or another i'm taking it somewhere <laughs> I'm gonna go with sometimes. What was that? You you lied. I up. hear scratching further I in lag, the cave. dude. Okay, okay. So then Casey Casey will start flips to another page of the book. Okay, scratching deeper into the cave, and then she'll tell Amelia, and looks back at the blob, and it's just like, are are you okay? As she is talking to you, Pi. Wiggles happily. Wiggles happily. Wiggles. <laughs> Bye, <baby>. That's new. <laughs> I, not I noticed notice that it's wiggling, and I like get like more interested and curious, so I try to get closer. Fair warning. I I'm just saying this now. Not everything not that touches me take acid damage. Oh, it's really? what I choose. <laughs> God damn <laughs> <laughs> You suck. What does that mean? I... I'm gonna try to touch you anyway. <laughs> okay, so so this this interesting creature tries to touch you, and then uh, Casey says, "No, no way! It burns you." Uh, I I uh, imitate her hand and return it. Woo! Just what? I clearly get They're excited, but like, and like kind of wiggle my fingers with it. They're touching hands, and then oh no, fair. <laughs> and then and then Casey flips to an empty page in her book and says, "Interesting slime creature." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Message: Case Casey is the NPC, right? Yes. Uh, message her common three point one four. My God, I don't know where to stop. Hi. <laughs> Three point one four. Is is that you? Wiggles happily. <laughs> oh. Every time he wiggles, my tail like flickers in excitement. <laughs> like, I think those, it's cute. You know those flans from uh, Final Fantasy, right? Yes, I know. That. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it, right there. That's uh, the flans. Yeah, they're they're just they're just blobs. They're, just blobs. they're, they're called flans, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Final you know, Fantasy. You know, like the dessert. Yeah. You know, the... Why? But what, when they wiggle halfway, it's a slow side to side wiggle. When they wiggle mad, it's like really quick. I thought it'd be cuter, but okay. No, no, get... that's, that's what I'm the, the wiggles. When they wiggle, that, yeah, the way they wiggle, that's how they, that's what he's imitating. He's not saying he looks exactly like them. He says that the way they wiggle, that's how he's wiggling. Oh, I see the blob guy from uh, Hotel Transylvania. That's what I was thinking. There you go. Too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Into so, a human form, yes. Okay. Oh, you're turning into a human form? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. That's a surprise. Well, he clearly has like an almost humanoid hand out because I'm a human. Yeah, yeah. Human yeah. Like. Just to share hands so, with you, yeah. So, uh, Keisu, Keisu will go, okay, okay, enough, enough lollygagging. We have to figure out what's, what's deeper in this cave. Come on, Amelia. We got to get going. I'm going to ask her in Draconic oh, why. Bye. Well, you don't understand what she's saying. She's saying it. Anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, then I'm just going to follow. Can we have this one? Can we keep it? The, the jello? She... She grabs Amelia by the shoulders, looks at her dead in the face, and says, I would never try to stop an animal from following me. What? I can't hear you, dude. I would never try and stop an animal from following me. Cool. I, I want to giggle because I think something's funny. I don't know why, <laughs> but I think you guys are funny. <laughs> Yeah, what's going on? I'm just like laughing. But it kind of sounds more like a fox making noise. All right, so Amelia starts going oh, down. So Amelia starts going down the tunnel, and Casey follows in. I'm Every still hold. I'm still holding Aloy's hand. Okay. Oh, okay. So obviously, like, well, you let go at some point, but obviously, you re grab my hand. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. I'm totally fine with this. Okay. So you guys start walking down the tunnel, and um. You guys would start seeing uh, blood uh, inscribed on the walls, uh, written in a in a language. Uh, what language would it be? That language. Yeah, sure. Please. What language? It is in Elvish. Okay. I can oh, obviously beat really? it. Mm -hmm. I want to go up to it and smell it and lick it. And she. <laughs> She smears some of the blood off the wall, <laughs> and yeah, this, like, no, don't eat that. This 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 tastes like blood. You know how blood tastes like. So, yeah. yeah, but it doesn't like taste like a specific type of animal blood. Would I know the uh, difference? Make, That's what I'm asking. Make a nature check. So roll d twenty. But... Damn it, computer. Eighteen. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, you know what it is. It's a, uh, it's some small critters, right? You do taste a little bit of rabbit, a little bit of mice, but uh, one thing in particular is like kind of almost like a, a very hint of salt you taste, uh -huh. but uh, you you recognize that to be of, of uh, human human blood. So it's like a mixture of small craters and human blood. So like I really basically just recognize yeah. snakes. Obviously I haven't encountered humans really. Yeah, you just eat small craters. So you know these small craters. You've eaten these guys before. <laughs> I'm going to tell, yeah. I'm going to tell Q say Casey. Casey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> about it. <laughs> about it in Draconic. And there's I'm going to say there's Rat blood and human blood. And Casey would reply to you in Draconic, that's not good. And then looks at Amelia and says, Amelia, our friend here, don't give it that look. And she has like, <laughs> I have a dopey face. <laughs> yeah, dirt face. So uh, she says to Amelia, Amelia, there's this blood is, is made up of rats rabbits and human blood and it's oh. it's written in elvish so you can read it george you can read it and it's it seems i'm gonna hug amelia while this is happening by the way okay <laughs> okay <laughs> and it seems to be uh some type of ritual almost uh it 
it foretells like a um a creature coming to be sacrifices that has to be made in order for the creature to exist and whatnot and it seems to be praising this creature and awaiting its return question hmm. it was only like rabbits and rats and stuff it was that was it no other rodent uh with 18 yeah that's that's about all you can justify is okay. that a rabbit uh, ro uh yeah rodents and human you don't know how you know the taste of human blood, but human. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a, I'm surprised like Keisu didn't like. Why do you know what human blood tastes like? <laughs> because she doesn't actually know who you are yet, and she just assumed that you've probably killed some or something. Judging by your attire, uh, because the way you look and how you were in the wild, so it is justified. Okay. She has she has a good knowledge of animals, just okay. not you. <laughs> so. So, uh, Amelia, we gotta be careful. Alright? Keep your eyes out. Don't make any noises. And for the love of God, Amelia, if you see a gem, make sure it's safe to pick up. No promises. Amelia? I have to get you back to your father alive. <laughs> 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 Fine. Is Amelia still getting hugged? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, what? I, I, and I attempt to engulf both of them in a somewhat hug. Oh, <laughs> I'm totally gonna accept it. I don't know, like, like your slime or something. Amelia, do you accept the slime's hug? Sure. Okay, so you guys slowly sleep, seep <laughs> into its body. <laughs> As it slowly <laughs> surrounds you guys, you guys are now submerged within its uh, its purple body, <laughs> and Keisu is just that's not good, and immediately reaches in for Amelia. <laughs> I grab her and pull her into the hug as well. Oh, she's she's gonna resist. Make her roll, George. <laughs> Can we keep this this game a little bit? We should. I mean, like, it won't be that hard to do this. Give me one second. One second. At the very oh. least, we could keep all the characters. Yeah, we could. So, I just another one. <laughs> so as as you try to pull Keisu into this quote unquote hug, <laughs> she rips <laughs> she rips Amelia out of your out of your gel. And she's like, Amelia, Amelia, are you okay? Are, are you okay? You're not burning? Oh. I'm just like slapping her head. It's like, stop it. No, I have to get you back to your father alive. If this thing eats you, I am going to kill it. And then so I have to explain to your father. Us, like we're completely suffocated? Or is there... Oh no, just, just like around Faces the like oh, yeah. I, I, do, I just do two cookie oh, people. I thought, and... Oh, I thought they were submerged in you. Whatever, same thing. I was thinking like a large waterbed blanket. I can't show like, it because you won't let me show it on YouTube. It's just a doodle. I don't really care. That's what you said last time and you got mad at me. It's a doodle and it's not detailed. <laughs> Looks quite detailed to me. Because <laughs> I suck at drawing. <laughs> anyway, so so Keisu pulls Amelia out. And then... Uh, I I licked him, so... Uh. Oh. Gender fluid. I do not specify as a male. It was oddly... Whatever! I was saying him because I don't know what... Like... <laughs> okay, we... Okay, Amelia? Can I go back in? No. <laughs> Stay here. You know what? Tie this rope around you very quick. <laughs> I'm smart enough. Damn it, Amelia. Okay, and then uh, she will say in Draconic, "Are are you okay, Rory?" Yeah. I'm do good. do do you want to stay in there? I sh I'm gonna keep following you. So if he just like wraps, or if this thing just wraps around me, then it'll just follow, I guess. Uh, it has okay. no choice. I'm fine with that. 
And Millie will call for you, so she's gonna be the drag you guys along. All right, just just call me if it tries to do anything funny, okay? Okay. And I smile. <laughs> All right, so you guys start walking deeper and deeper into this um, into this cave before it's First time to play a stupid character. <laughs> before it splits off into three different directions. Uh, uh, Rory. Uh, where where you came out of was the right hand side. Okay. Are you making a image somewhere on the stuff? No. I got I got you. I got you. Wait. I'm going to minimize it because I can't see. Oh, I thought that was something on the screen. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's red. It's supposed to be black. I'm confused. What's happening? So the road... Oh, jeez. Why is it doing that? So the cave splits into three different sections. One leading to the to the left, one leading to the right, and one leading through the center. Why is that? Whatever. So two pale... One pale line. Alright. So it's just symmetrically... Going. Oh, oh okay. I see it. I see it. I see it now. Yeah. And then I came from the one that's right to you came from on the, the right side. Yes, you okay. came from the side. Oh yeah. So there's a toolbar on the right over here, somewhere on the screen. Yeah. If you I can so, see it. yeah, select the ruler, and that's how you could do this. This will be the main use of tools for me. Yeah. So I I can see where you're pointing and everything. So yeah. Uh, I came from this one. And I know the entirety of this one, right? I just don't know what these two are. Yeah. Uh, the the scratches you've heard came from this one. Okay. I'm going to tell Case, Case you that that's where the scratching came from. Okay. Okay. So the scratching needs to leave that way, okay? So Case is going to come over to the side here, take out that same chisel, and mark it with the same nook and cranny. And then she looks up into the into the sky, thinks for a moment, and then and then writes a uh, southwest. All right, Amelia. Oh wait, actually, uh, says it says it in draconic. Rory, have you seen any gems in here? And it's your call. Yes or no? Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, I kind of like think about it and I'm gonna say like the sparkly thing that Gems was holding because I don't call Amelia Amelia I call oh, it yeah. Gems. Yes, yes, the the sparkly rocks. Then I point to the direction of my cave and say there's a lot in there. Because I, I mean understand. I'm a dragon, so Yeah. Okay. Obviously there's gonna be crystals or gems wherever I'm around. Okay. Uh, or wherever you... I live. Is do you do you know if your area is dangerous or was it just you sleeping there? It was just me sleeping there. Okay. So then she looks at Amelia. Amelia, if you're nice, I'll tell you where the gems are. Where are they? Where are they? Put on this rope. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, George, what are you doing while all this is conspiring? <laughs> I imitate the rope. The rope? <laughs> well, what do you mean you imitate it? I do the same thing that the NPC is doing to Amelia to the homunculus. Oh, sorry. Rory. Yeah. Hmm? So, you so he... You try to act like the rope around, or like you kind of turn into this blob that grows like a rope but it's you. Yeah, instead and of. And you wrap it around me. Oh, so yeah. he's acting like a rope yeah. on me? No, on onto Rory. Oh. Yeah. Well, where do you wrap it? Because uh, Amelia is wrapping it around her waist. Waist is roller. Okay. So, so this purple glob uh, slowly reaches out towards you, Rory, and wraps uh, what seems to be an extension of itself around your waist. It doesn't hurt, so I'm not going to be aggressive. I'm just going to smile at it and, like, pat the top of it. Since I, I just naturally do that. <laughs> you pat everything you touch. 
<laughs> yes. I'm All a very right. loving creature most of the time. All right. So Casey will start leading the way with uh, our with Amelia behind. Galk. We're name. We're Team Galk. Galk. Like <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, going down this tunnel, um, Amelia, you would start seeing uh, gems imbued into the or uh, veins of gems imbued into the walls. Like a kid on a child's beach, I go. <laughs> And after you start sprinting, you get tugged. <laughs> Amelia? What the hell? Oh, Amelia! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You promised, Amelia. <laughs> pout. I pout and then <laughs> cross my arms, just like, fine. Alright. <laughs> I hug Amelia again because I think she's being cute. <laughs> and lick her face. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I think you're being cute. Amelia looks at you in disgust. <laughs> she just licked me. me. And then, uh. I Case to make whispering noises because I think she's mad at me. K Kesu Kesu looks at you with a very angry face, <laughs> and would say in draconic. Oh, he's done, he's done. No, and would say in draconic in a very aggressive manner. Good job. Keep doing that. She loves it. <laughs> but to you I'm guys, so to, confused now. Yeah, but to everyone else, it looks like Kesu is yelling <laughs> at her for doing something bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I like think about it, not necessarily understand the emotion anger because I have not interacted with yeah people yet. So I just go ahead and keep licking her face. Yeah. Okay. So you guys would travel further down this tunnel, and then you would eventually reach the the end of the tunnel, which uh, Rory has decorated with uh, different bones of uh, little critters that she has brought back. Uh, you. you uh, you have you have any idea of how your shelter looks, or you want me to just keep going? Um, I'm gonna say it's got like a lot of like natural crystals, a few gemstones, but I since I don't really understand what gems are, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I didn't know that crystals weren't gems, but there are some, so she's not disappointed. Yes, and there are uh, plentiful of it. <laughs> there's quite a, there's like little schools around some places. Uh. There's like something that looks like a bed made out of like a bunch of feathers and fur. And then uh, Casey would be That's like... That's really it. Yeah. Some of the crystals are glowing. Oh, one of them is growing. Uh, glowing. The, the emerald crystal is glowing. Let me look at it. Damn it. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. lick. <slick. laughs> No, I wanted to look at the picture that Linda sent. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. <laughs> lick. Yeah, it's just lick. Which, which is pretty, pretty interesting because it says here, on the the Wikipedia for chimeras, that uh, on average you're roughly around seven feet tall. <laughs> seven, Damn. seven to eight feet tall. So that's a very good representation of it. <laughs> She's I a real. see it. You don't see it? The picture? It won't let me click on it. It like won't let me click things. Try resending it because it'll pop up on the side of it. Oh, fine. Anyways, uh, Amelia, you would see this, this, <laughs> this vast, <laughs> this vast assortment of just gems imbued into the walls. Once more, the emerald ones are lighting up the, the walls. So, so most people would be able to see into here. But you see a vast assortment of some. <laughs> I want it. Okay, Amelia, you can pick one. These are Rory's. You have to be nice about it. Taste out my wrench. You have to ask Rory before you take it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. And she 
So. I clearly can't speak common, so I really don't know what's <laughs> happening. I just noticed that she's emphatically like saying stuff. So Jem is pointing at a bunch of these shiny rocks, and is speaking a language you don't understand. And you look for you look towards Keisu for some sort of enlightenment, so that some translation. Like, what's going on? Yeah, and then she's just kind of smiling and everything. And then, and then Casey would say, which one do you hate the most? And you can name literally any gem you want. I just sort of shrug, like, I don't, I don't know. Because uh, she will say, gem wants one of your shiny rocks, but she doesn't want to be mean. So she's asking you, which shiny rock can she have? I don't which grab one? any of the glowing ones. I grab, like, uh two sapphires and uh an amber and like one opal and then i just like hold them out to gem oh. <laughs> <laughs> do i i put it in my bag yeah i purr and lick her again amelia what do you say <laughs> thank you <laughs> and I then at, I look at her wantingly like I want to be pet. I pet her slowly. And then Casey would say she is very grateful for you what you have done. You are by far the superior being to her. You are her alpha. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at her her like small like I don't totally get what that means, but I noticed that it's a good thing, so I just like smile at her. <laughs> uh, uh, Pi, what are you doing as this is transpiring? I'm gonna, ever since we walked into the room, I've been shaking, and I'm gonna jump off her shoulders into the large pile of bones. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you just, you're just keeping the bones on you, right? I, I'm, I'm kind of just like, Bring them into my body like nothing. As I keep eye contact with everybody else, as it just absorbs inside me. Yeah, not, nothing's going on here. Oh. I, I guess I noticed him get off my shoulder, so I watched him. Yeah, and yeah, he seems qu quite fond of uh, of your of your collection of bones. Uh, there are no human bones, though. Yes, yes, but he's just fond yeah. of bones. I said humanoid. Oh, he, oh didn't, okay. he didn't ask if he wanted that. What did I have to ask? Because... Bones and shiny things are two different things. Because, Amelia, <laughs> he's well-trained, unlike you. I don't even know him. I know, yeah, and I know you. Amelia, be nice. <laughs> Be nice, or don't make me take your gems back. I think I kind of notice what's going on, and I, like, <laughs> make weird noises that sound remotely like And I, like, grab another shiny, and I hand it to a gem. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, at this point, you guys will hear a... Um, a very oh, I'm doing this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are my bones. You, you can't, can't touch, touch them. them. <laughs> so you guys will hear this uh, very, very uh, echoey scratch in the distance, almost like uh, nails to a chalkboard. Just. Is it? Very loud, or is it just noticeable? It is echoing through the uh, cave. I, I look at Keisu and I'm like, like, that's what I was talking in Draconic, obviously. Yeah. And then Keisu says to uh, Amelia, Amelia, we have to check it out. We don't have to fight it. Okay? Fine. Fine. If. If it turns out that we can kill it, then we can kill it. But as of right now, this thing has probably killed more people than both of us combined. We're done. Can we get the gems then? If we're lucky. If we... <sighs> here. If we... Fine. If we don't get it, you owe me. Here. If we kill it, right? If it's a bad thing and we kill it, 
we'll come back here. I'll ask Rory to give you as many gems as you want. And my bag of hunting is like the endlessness of it is, right? It could hold 5,000 pounds. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> is that okay with you? Fine. Otherwise, if we have to run, we cannot come back here. It's a dead end. Fine. Okay. So then, uh, she, she takes out the chisel and writes on the wall once more, except for this time she writes in Draconic, uh, your name, Rory. And then... I smile because I think it's cute. <laughs> and, then... and like, K2. <laughs> she makes no emotion as she walks towards the sound of the echoing scratches. And then, and then she stops for a moment. And looks back at the blob and says, Pi, why are you following us? Just just goes to one side, like tilting my head, like, what? <laughs> I know you can speak common because you spoke to me in common. So why are you following us? Okay, message, because I'm not going to give the fact that I can actually talk yet. Yeah, but but because you said it in common in message, you can understand that much. Basic for fucked up. So, uh, send message. And people. Friendly people. I follow people. Again. You do realize that where we're going, we will possibly die? At this point, I puff into a bowl, exploding all the... Bones <laughs> out like a like spikes and like <laughs> yes. Oh yes, yeah, the bones and spikes. Yeah, so Adorable. so like while the bones. Think of a monster hunter monster. Hey, monster hunter monsters are awesome. Okay, don't. Miss. Yeah, I know. I'm not judging. Please, yeah. calm down. Yeah, sorry, I'm a huge monster oh. hunter fan. I just got them playing monster hunter world. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Uh, it's on monster hunter world. Was that the... There's a blob? Oh, the spikes. Oh, the spikes. The... the Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, um... So, as as the bones were was inside Pi, you can see that he's using, like, his acidic touch to sharpen the bones, and then once more, almost like a man who's trying to blow a balloon pops out of the... Oh, well, this is all I see. Yeah, I see Like that. a puffer fish. Yep. <laughs> Gentlemen, this I, I just... I just imagine like you extend your thumb, like you you make a thumb and then you bite into it and slowly blow until the spikes are out. That works. <laughs> that works. I'm All really right. having fun. All right, let's let's go do this then. So then, um, uh, she walks back to that crossroads and it walks down that tunnel <laughs> and hopes that nothing scary happens. Uh, this is where I draw to see what creature it is. Okay. So, um, you guys, you guys would see in the distance, um, uh, a, a faint bit of a uh, green fire. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking at a picture. God, I didn't even tell you what I, what you guys see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have seen in the distance a green fire. Uh, behind behind it stands a a humanoid figure wearing a, a long purple cloak. Uh, beside him is a very very large uh, sharp object. Almost looks like a giant machete or or some type of uh, uh, butch, butcher knife. Very very large. Almost almost uh, two feet long. So wait, the guy in the purple cloak. Yep. With a giant machete. That's what it looks like. Yes. Okay. Uh, but is he holding it? No, it's it's it's. You it's, said it's just. Yeah, it's it's leaning on him. Uh, it's leaning on this. Uh, oops, oops. Yeah, I gotta draw it like this now. Okay. It's leaning on what seems to be this table, that a um, a minotaur is on currently. Uh, the minotaur. Oh, the Minotaur seems to be strapped to the um, 
to the table uh, with its uh, chest ripped open. You see the ribs uh, poking outwards into it, uh, outwards to the sky. And uh, you see that his intestines have been pulled out. And looking at this, uh, this humanoid, uh, he he's he's kind of murmuring to himself, almost there, almost there. As he uh, brings the intestines to this large body of just body parts in the uh, in the corner of the of this room of creatures. Yep, of various creatures and very very disgusting smell. Um, you would you would see behind him. Uh, is some type of uh, circle, uh, almost, uh, inscribed in what seems to be arcane uh, ink. Um, go ahead and do it like this. Uh, there are some words inscribed onto it, but you don't quite understand what it is, unless you guys want to make an arcana check. Sure. Do I have any arcana? Yes. Um, sure, I'll go ahead. Do I? Uh, no, you do not. But you can still try if you want. Nah. Okay, so, Amelia, you know what this is. You you know what this circle is. It's a um. Do you have a nail clipper? Yes, it's a nail clipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a it's a forbidden art. Uh, that has been ex uh, expelled from um, from this world, or at least, or at least from what you know, it's illegal. Uh, it's a ne necromancy art that has been long forgotten, and it's it's a uh, it's a join. Uh, it's it's to create a creature from multiple different beings. Then I tell. I always can't remember her name. K Kesu. Kesu. Yeah, I tell Kesu about this. It's literally two syllables. One of which you is know a, what? It's pretty much a letter. <laughs> <laughs> K. <laughs> just just imagine you're suing Kenchi. <laughs> K Su. Anyways. Wow. Yeah. So you're telling <laughs> you're telling her. Yep. You are telling her that? Yes. I'm telling Kesu that. Okay. So then Keisu would say, Hey, baby. Okay. Cute boy. So this guy is obviously doing some type of bad magic that is illegal to this world. Is it possible that I sense the evil energy? Uh, you can make an arcana check for that. <sighs> Just saying. Okay, since then never in, mind. Yeah. Since we walked into the room, I have been wiggling happily. Wiggling happily. <laughs> Why wiggling happily? Just He's wiggling. a necromancer, right? Yep. Oh. And I see bodies and bones. Yep. <laughs> Frankly, I just see the minotaur that's like all cut up, and I immediately become like hostile. Not like aggressive towards anybody, but I my demeanor clearly changes. Hmm. I'm still a ghoul and have no real weapon, so I'm a little, uh... You have a wrench. Take, take it back. back. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, be hiring Keisu or Rory. Okay, so, uh, looking about this cave, you do see some minor fires. Uh, once more, there are, there are some green fires, which I could just do with this, which is funny because it's so nice. Where... Uh, first? Yeah. No, no, not, <laughs> not that. Glow is Wait, what? Yeah, see? Fire over here, fire over here, over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see these fires, huh? <laughs> <Hoo -hoo. laughs> wow. I could do God. this, you guys can't. This is so cool, isn't it? Anyways, um, <laughs> Casey would say, uh, would, would uh, say in Draconic, um, this man is dangerous. Uh, he needs to be dealt with or else he will hurt more creatures. Uh, he doesn't know where we are, so we have the element of surprise. And then she will say that again in common so everyone understands. I nod. So now we're going to get into a fight. So now I can play oh God. some music. Wait, 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 wait. I, I want to stealth. Right now, currently, everyone is stealthing. Okay, I want to try to approach the uh, purple guy. 
Okay. Oh, well, well, everyone make a, a initiative check so I know the turn order. Six. That's a D20, right? Yes. I got a 17. Okay, so... What's my health? Oh, I got a 17. Well, you lost two. <laughs> okay, what's my health right now? Uh, you Fuck. should be at level three, so I'll just take uh, three off that. You're at 38 minus 236. Cool. Do you guys mind if I go get something to drink real quick? Yeah, yeah, before we put I'm going to yeah. get something too. I was All right. Oh, 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 George got a 17. What's up? Rory, Rory got a 4. Oh. George got a 17. She thought she rolled a 17. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Linda, what'd you get? 6. So how's everyone's night going? Well, I pulled this out of my ass, so... <laughs> hey, you're doing pretty good. I, I'm trying a new dumb character. I think this is the only character I ever had that had an intelligence of 16 and a wisdom of 15. <sighs> this... I'm showing him with a cap on six. No, he knows. He's, he saw it. He went yeah. inside it, yeah. Human. <laughs> Why? Human. I you do this. <laughs> I you do this? Yeah, I you do this. Human. <laughs> hey, can you hear the music, George? I can't. Human God. I sleep like God. <laughs> Shut up. In the new game? No, I haven't died yet. I'm about to. I'm about to do something incredibly stupid. Are you going to consume the Minotaur? No, I'm approaching the purple guy. All right, I'm back. Ugh. All right, so Ugh. so Aurora, if you look at the chat, you you didn't get a 17. You got a four. Okay. Yeah, it was Sam. It was uh, George who's under Sam thing right now. He like got a 17. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this That's is fine. this is the turn order, okay? Once more, you have your your move, action, bonus action. You could do these in any order, any order. So you don't, so you're not limited to. But yeah. So, um, Pi, what are you doing? Okay, we have not been noticed, right? No. What was his name? Pi. 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 Okay. Three point one four. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? That's his yeah. legit. That's, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So backstory. You know how we came up with that name? We were trying to find a name, and I was fucking around. I put three point one four, and he's like, "You know what? We're keeping that." <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, um... Okay. So, how far are we from this guy or humanoid? Fifty-five feet. Fifty-five feet. Can I sneak to him in one turn? No, sneaking is half your movement. Shit. So he's facing us? He is currently uh, facing uh, to the left. He's, oh. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's on his way to put the intestines into this pile. You, you said he's 50 feet? 55. Shit. Okay. Um... I'm gonna inch ten feet closer, hugging the ground as best you can. Yeah, like pancake on the ground <laughs> with bones sticking out of me. <laughs> pancake. That's a very good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those are the walls. Okay. So fifteen feet, you said. 
I said ten feet. Ten feet. And that's it. And now I am within range to do hiatus laughter. Hi. Ooh, hiatus. Ooh. Okay. Laughter. So what's your uh, spell save DC? My my wait wait where? So what's your spell casting modifier? My spell casting modifier is intelligence, I believe. Intelligence, yes. All right. So what's your intelligence at? My intelligence is at. 16. 16, so plus 3. Yep. So you cast Hiatus Laughter, and um, and uh, the, the guy starts walking towards the the, the pile of, uh, of flesh, and then he st stops, and, <laughs> and he falls on the ground laughing his ass off. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the fuck is the slime? And he still laughs. That's his turn. As he continues to laugh. You're welcome. His what? That his turn is his turn is, is to try to break the spell. That's his turn. And he's continuing to laugh because he didn't break the spell. Oh, oh wait, I hate his laugh is uh oh, is George's spell, right? Yes. Okay, I get it now. I'm caught up. So now since he's on the ground, Keisu has no line of sight to shoot. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, still behind the wall. Now that's her turn. I'm sorry. All I could think was take him down. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Amelia, what are you doing? What do I have? I don't remember what I have. You have a wrench. My vagina switch. Mm -hmm. You have a robe of, robe of useful things, which have various items attached to it. And you have a bunch of protection spells. Alright. I guess I move... Uh, let me get my ruler. Mm -hmm. So we're, he's still in the middle, right? He's the end. Uh, so where am I? Mail. I move right here. Move 20 feet? Mm. Okay. And that's it? Um, what, what um, protection has me more than multiple taunts? You have Cure Wounds, which is a healing spell. You have mm -hmm. Alarm, which is, isn't useful right now. You have Sanctuary, where you buff someone, and if they were to get hit, the the pers the person attacking them has to roll and see if it hits them. They have to be you put a shield over them and they have to break that shield effectively. And then the next one is shield of faith, which gives them more armor. So Keisu is the one that's gonna be attacking, right? You have Keisu, you have Pi, and you have Rory. You can buff anyone you want. I know, I'm talking about the one that wants to attack now. So you know Keisu has a bow and arrow. Mm. I'll use one of the protectings on Roy. Uh, which one? No. Sanctuary or Shield of Faith? Uh, Sanctuary just protects him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It does. It does allow her to attack, right? It does. Okay. All right, Roy. What are you doing? Um, can I use to Sorry. rush him? Sorry, what? Can I rush him and then use Reckless Attack? Uh... Like, activate it or something? No. Because, uh, so it takes an action to dash. Right now you can move 30 feet. That's the maximum movement you can do in one turn. Okay. But if you dash, you can move a maximum of 60 feet, which will get you next to him. And right now he's currently laughing, so that could be a, uh, a good thing for you. But I'm gonna you, do that. Okay, you'd be in position to attack next turn. So uh, Rory just kind of sprints over and jumps over this table. Uh, now seeing this Minotaur as closely as possible, uh, this guy was was alive when when uh, he was harvested. Like he was awake. He wasn't. Oh. He wasn't put to sleep. You can see. Oh my like, god! Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm so pissed. 
I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> he is I, enraged, by the way. I am so getting to you. All of you know, I am ready to like just destroy this guy as painfully okay. as I possibly so, can. Um, it takes a bonus action to rage, so you, you'll do that next turn and then you'll attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, George, uh, Pi, yep. what are you doing? Oh shit! Uh, we're no longer <laughs> thinking. So uh, get up and try to make it to the Minotaur. Uh, use your ruler. I use my ruler. Okay. I believe slimes move slow, right? Like they have twenty-five feet movement. Uh, instead, yeah, twenty-five feet. Okay. I can't zoom in that close. Give me a second. No, that's twenty-five. God damn it! Okay, well then I use a. Uh... That was twenty-five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How close to the bodies am I? You gonna take a bonus? You gonna take an action to dash? Does it get me close to a body? There's a minotaur here. Uh, the pile of bones are just kind of scattered uh, across this table and around it. I jump on the table and I try to absorb as much as I can. So it's a it's an action to dash for you to get there. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and use that. Alright, so do you have a bonus action? Because absorbing is not a bonus action. So attack or whatever? Uh, no, you cannot attack with a bonus action. Okay, what can I do for a bonus action? You are a necromancer, so probably nothing. Unless there's a spell that states bonus action. Okay, can I just spread myself over the body, over the table? Okay. Like melt? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's his turn again. Okay. He stops laughing. And then he's like, Wait a minute. Who are you? What? And then he stands up. And that's the end of his turn. Because that's what happens. He just stands up and that's the end? <laughs> yeah. Because he can, he can, was... you can only break a spell at the end of your turn. Mm. Oh. It's, yeah, it sucks. 25 feet. So Keisu readies an arrow and shoots it. Misses. Flies right by you, Rory. And, it, and she yells in Draconic, sorry! I didn't even notice. I'm still mad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Amelia. I have no powers. <laughs> <laughs> Useless. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, she is. I love, I love you, the most funnest you. character. You have a robe of useful <laughs> items. You can rip off, rip off a uh, patch to get four daggers. And you can throw those daggers. Wait, what? Without... You have a robe with a bunch of patches on it that oh, gives yeah, yeah. you items. One of uh, which is a, a dagger. Cool -ass item. I guess I go up 30, yeah. dash 30, and no, no, then. No, that's, that's just a run. Dash is double that, but yeah. Oh. And then I use the dagger. So you, you pull a patch out and you take out the dagger? 12. 12 plus your dex. Which is... Oh, oh wow. Yep, that hits. So roll 1d4. Uh... Let's try which one? Again. Triangle? Two. Alright. So you deal seven points of damage to this guy because you have plus five in um in dex. Oh okay. Yep. You deal seven points to this guy. As the dagger flies and jams into his shoulder, he's like, yeah! Where the hell did you come from? And he's just honestly confused. Rory, what are you doing? You're gonna rage and then attack? Uh yes. Okay. Rage so rage and attack. Reckless attack or regular attack? Um, reckless. Okay. So I'm you... too angry to do a regular attack. Okay, so you roll two d20s. Flash on base two. And you, okay, so when rolling these two, right, it shows you the two options, which is 20 and 12. When it's uh -huh. advantage, you pick the bigger one, which is this one is 20. When it's disadvantage, it's uh, the lower one. So, okay. And since you got a natural 20, that is a critical hit. So, 
Roll 1d6. This is this is your regular damage. So roll 1d6? Yep, this is your 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 bladed fist. <laughs> Okay, and because of, well, then. because of your <laughs> the character you chose, while raging the first creature I hit with a weapon attack on my turn deals extra damage. So roll another d6. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that? Okay, so you've dealt 14 points of damage to him total. Woo! Yeah, that was. It could have been a lot better, but damn, that's still a lot. As yeah. How much did you do? Fourteen. Jesus Christ! I know she is pissed. <laughs> so as, she's protected, so she's. So, as he bleeds, by the way, I start smiling like evilly. So as I hate. As this dagger plunges into uh into this uh man's shoulder, his body rotates ever so slightly. Where now he's facing this this chimera creature as she leaps at him and starts bludgeoning him with this bladed fist and just claw claw. One of which uh, leaves this uh, green mark, this green scar along his chest, leaving that necrotic burn. As she is clearly pissed. Um, Pi, what are you doing? Are there humanoids on this table? Just that minotaur. Okay, so is is uh, he's getting beat up right now, right? Yes. Mm. I jump on him. Oh. So you're gonna try to engulf him? Yes. Okay, make a roll. <laughs> What's your strength? My strength is. Let me scroll up. Fifteen, and I have bone shards in my body. Oh nice. God! Okay, so, so you succeed. This poor bastard. Yeah, you succeed to, <laughs> you succeed to just jump on him and engulf him into your body, uh, because you have what four bone spikes. So I'll say uh, roll a d six. All right. I was not expecting you guys to do this much shit to. <laughs> Makes an excuse to make another one. I had plans to make him, you know, uh, do other things, but you guys are just stopping. <laughs> uh, let's see if he takes his turn to get out. Nope, he is stuck in there. So wait, he's stuck in the. He is stuck in George. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Suffocation. Digest him like a son of a bitch. <laughs> So, uh, He's a piece of shit. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let me let me look at Kesu's spells very quick. Um, All of Alvin's plans foiled. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm so proud of you guys. I am legitimately am proud of you guys. This fight, this fight could have been so much harder, but you guys have been stopping me at every corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she doesn't have any useful spells, so uh, she's gonna uh, ready a shot because she's not gonna shoot through you, Pi. But the moment he breaks free, she's gonna shoot him. Uh, Amelia, what are you doing? Uh, what else do I have? I have the vent. She's inside him, so I can't really do much. Do I have any uh, timed attacks? You could hold your action. So you could hold your action, like like what I just did with Kesu. She's holding her uh, arrow ready. That if the guy breaks free, he, she's gonna attack. All right, can I hold my uh, axe, my uh, bench, to pull ready to throw it? Oh wait, let me see where I am. I just moved you next to him. You wanna? I don't want to be next. Wait. That's where you were. Oh yeah, I want to be next. Want to be next? What? Wait, she's before me. Casey. So, yeah. Casey's before me. She attacks. I go right here. Okay. Alright. Uh <laughs> Rory, what are you doing? This 
this blob just ate the creature that you're trying to kill. Mm. Oh, I don't dislike the blob. Yes, but you are still raging. Yeah, so I might try to, like, I might be in a blind rage at this point, and I might try to hit him anyway. Yeah, go for it. He's like, oh. that... uh, uh, <laughs> uh, George, what's your AC? My AC? Mm-hmm. 14. Okay. So, AC? Yeah. So if you hit, and if you roll, and you hit a 14 or lower, you hit George. Okay. Oh. But regardless, oh. you're, regardless you're hitting George, it's just that if you hit him instead, if you hit the character instead, you're doing half damage to George. So are you still doing reckless attack or no? Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. I'm okay. still doing reckless attack. All right. Two, 2 D20. Okay, so that's a 10. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Tara, Tara wants to play D&D too. Tara, Tara wants to go. <laughs> like, oh. You know, it's only with these three. So with your plus five strength and plus two from rage, that means that you have a, a 17. So you hit the guy. So go ahead and roll uh, D6. Humanoid and digital. Right. Okay, uh, so three plus five is eight plus two from rage is ten. So look, looking at him from inside the 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 slime, uh, he's pretty badly injured. Uh, George, you take five points of damage from that hit. I already got it. Okay. So it's your move now, George. Full body acid damage. All right. So roll. Wow, one... this guy has not gotten an attack yet. Yeah. <laughs> roll one d eight. I said a d eight because uh, damage from the spikes and damage from the acid. Four, plus your strength is what? Four as well? No. Uh, it would be. Oh wait, is it three? Strength. My, my strength is 15, so it's plus 2. Okay, so 6 points of damage. And with that, uh, you would see from within this uh, this jelloly blob, uh, blood spewing out, and he is now dead. Yes! <laughs> I begin to consume him without second thought. As you would see this... this only the organic material, though. Yeah, yeah. As you would see, uh, the skin starts burning off this man's body as, as his uh, skull slowly begins to show and his uh, drapes kind of slowly gets pushed outwards out of the blob until, pr until there's pretty much nothing left but bones. I let out a burp. <laughs> <laughs> as it echoes through the cave. <laughs> And in case he was like, wow, I'm so happy I brought you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you doing all right there, Amelia? <laughs> Destroy the blooping blob. Uh, so I wanted to dig a hole for the Center? Min miniature. Min miniature. Man, whatever. Yeah. You have a wrench. Does, do you think that's gonna stop me? <laughs> so Mila starts banging into the ground. Uh, what are you doing, Rory? Um, I'm trying to calm down at this point since I finally registered that he's dead. Yeah, you could clearly see it. <laughs> uh, now that it's just bones and, and, and his cloak is draped out. And I'm trying to, I'm not looking at the Minotaur, I'm trying to avoid looking at it. So, uh, Keisu starts, uh, walks over, 
and uh, starts investigating, trying to find uh, notes or any type of journal. Yeah, yeah. she just keeps finding bones. Uh, some of which that she points out to be human, that they are human bones. It's all about blob, isn't it? It's all yeah. about pie. <laughs> pie is oh great. God. I just have to have this weird <laughs> thing about human things, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> no, one's, <laughs> no one's judging pie. No one's judging. It's, we're watching the life of pie. <laughs> I really want to tell everybody. <laughs> Life like, like literally, like let's see what one, one, two, three, four, five pictures are just pie. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, so Amelia, as you are uh trying to dig a hole, um, something doesn't seem right about the the circle. Now that you're a lot closer. Which circle? The blue one or the, 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 yeah, the magic circle? Uh, which is that? The blue one or the red one? The blue one. The red one is a pile of uh, flesh. Uh, no one's in it right now, right? Yeah, no one's in it. George is actually on top I of this I go <laughs> uh, to the circle and check it out. Not in it, but to it. Okay, make our arcana check. Eight plus seven is fifteen. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> plus seven in it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so good at magical. <laughs> so, this this circle has already been used. Looks like he was gonna retrace it when when uh, he had enough materials to make another. So I tell Case two this. And I suspect that something that he voted might be in him or might have gone out. Great. That's great, Amelia. <laughs> Would you not have liked to known? I could have just kept it. <laughs> no. Thank you, Amelia. You've done a great job. Can you get jams now? In a bit, we got. We have to figure out like how he can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to eat my hole with my wrench. To walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia starts banging on the ground again. Tank, 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 tank. Is she actually like digging a hole or not? Like, what's the ground made of? <laughs> it's made up of stone. <laughs> 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 you guys are in a cave. <laughs> Could be made oh, there, are, there are caves with like. Yeah, dirt, yeah, but... I know, I know, but this one's made up of stone. But you think Amelia would care? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> well, I was wondering because, like, if it was dirt, then I was gonna go help her, but it's clearly not. So. So I'm gonna grab the cloak that's left over from the dude, mm -hmm. and uh, put it on as I take human form. Okay. You need to send me a picture of what he looks like. Doing so it. I'll doing it right now. Make make a wisdom check. Or a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw? Mm-hmm. I like it. Let me see. Hold on. I couldn't really so see it. So it's a like female body? body? Not really. It's like sexless. I know, but it's more of a female physique. So so think, think of it like this. A slime is trying to communicate with people. And... They've noticed that uh, these males, or most people, tend to speak towards female creatures. So therefore, they they presume a almost female figure to to be more appealing to the eye. I wouldn't even say that. I mean, he's only interacted with females. At this current moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we don't know the backstory of Pi. So you made a fourteen true. plus true, one. True. 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 So the <laughs> so the no chest or chest. The roll is fourteen. Think of a child. Oh, okay, no chest. Yeah, so my roll is sixteen because it's plus two. Okay. So you succeed the saving throw. You are not controlled. But uh, you would hear within your mind um, a very very distant whisper since you succeeded the throw. You succeeded the throne? Yeah, the, the saving throw, which is what it's called. 
So as he put on the cloak, the cloak was trying to take over him in some way, shape, or form. And I made him roll for it, and he rolled a 14 plus 2 is 16, which beat the, the, the cloak's roll. So therefore, he's not controlled by the cloak. Okay. So I just have a stylish cloak. Yep. Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I still hear the whispers? No, it's very, very... Uh, like it's, it's, it's very, very distant. You can't quite understand what they're saying, but uh, from what you can understand, this some, this is probably something you shouldn't listen to. This is probably what drove this man to do such horrendous things. Okay, yeah, but I'm a slime, so I'm going to speak out for the first time and just kind of like questioningly go, friend? Friend. Keisu is just like, like this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I mean, I could tell it's friendly, it. so I'm just gonna hug it because at this point, like, I'm over the Minotaur. I've moved on. Are you, are you gonna eat that? Uh, Casey, who would say a draconic? You think it's okay for her to eat the, the Minotaur? Towards uh, Rory. You ask me if it's okay for me yes. to eat this? Yeah. <laughs> because you seem you seemed a little bit angry about what this man has done to this Minotaur. So I'm just making sure uh, it's okay for our friend here to if it's I respond okay. to Keisu, it's fine to eat it. This man killed out of cruelty, not food. Different. Okay. So Casey would look up at you and say Go ahead, Pi. And then goes to, <laughs> and it goes to Amelia, grabs her shoulder, and says, "Amelia, stop digging a hole." <laughs> I made a dent. Don't you see? <laughs> honey, 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 you would have. I know. I know how powerful you are. You have. You would have gotten there eventually. And I'm proud of you of what you've done. But please stop the banging. Fine. Yes. Gems. Are like are they like what, No, what they are they, they, they are they are they don't not look related whatsoever. She's basically like a caretaker. Yes. <laughs> so uh I was just trying to figure it out. Yeah. So uh uh Amelia, she has like a like a hazel brown brownish curly hair while Keisu has a uh, long straight black hair. Let me see if okay. I can find a reference yeah. for her. I think I posted it. If you're if you're gonna share it, send it to me in Snapchat so that I can actually look at it instead of the Skype thing. Uh. <laughs> Just tag her on Facebook when you find it. <laughs> fine, fine. Because I know you posted it somewhere, but yeah. So, uh, so yeah, the Minotaur is gone. The man is gone. And uh, Casey starts writing in her notes that shit went down and now there's a slime folk friend and a interesting Say... <laughs> I did not post it. Oh. I thought I did. Do I still have it? I, you drew a, it's a sketch. I know, I'm trying to think if I still have the book. Maybe. Oh, maybe you sent it to Webby. Check oh yeah, out. I probably did. Yeah. Ow. Let me see. So Pi's eating Amelia's. Amelia is waiting for um, her her shiny rock reward. I'm gonna go cuddle Amelia again. Okay. <laughs> okay, back. Sorry. No worries. All right. Uh, so Kesu writes in her journal that everything's okay. There was a uh, ritual being had to create creatures of abominations. And the circle has already been used so the creature might have escaped or has been dealt with already. That creature is still... Oh, there she is. Searched. Being searched for. It's not really curly hair, but... Yeah, it's a slightly curly. 
It's more spiky than anything. I'll just send it to you on Messenger. That works. Alright, so I guess we should get out of here. Uh... Jams! 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 Oh! 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 Wait, wait, we have one friend left. One friend. Oh, it's so cute! Gosh. I go, I go over there and put the, uh, what are now looking like hands and slap it onto the big mound of dead thing. And use re, uh, animate dead. Um, let me, let me see animate dead very quick. Open Why it. are you doing this? This seems like a horrible idea. Is your character against necrophilia? Uh, not necrophilia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably still against that, okay. She doesn't uh, totally have a rational sense yet, but she just knows that, like, having something living and, like, torturing it by taking out its intestines while it's alive is not okay. Yep. So it's not necessarily that I might be against necromancy, so if, like, something's already dead, you reanimate it and it's not bad. I'm not against it, probably. Okay. Where is Animate Dead? I know you have it. I know you have it. Where are you? Mm. Burn corpse into one plus two slash okay, hold on. skeleton or zombie. Hold on. This this spell creates an undead servant. Choose a pile of bones or a corpse of medium or... Sp so does that does that actually work though? No, because it's no, not yeah, like an actual corpse. Yeah, it's, a yeah, it's, it's it's not an actual corpse. It's a it's a accumulation of different uh, body parts and organs. And all of them. Wait a second, I killed a humanoid. Oh, but you're you animating. Humanoid. No, no, he 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 digested the skin and muscle off the humanoid. So what's left is bones, Skeleton. and that's all he needs. So now you have a walking skeleton with you. Oh, this is what I thought. I'm gonna send a picture anyway. All right, George, you got a walking skeleton. Yep. I'm gonna like look at the skeleton. Like, what the fuck? Ew. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, okay. So I want you just all the picture of this, okay? So the slime goes up to the skeleton, engulfs the skeleton, and comes out as. <laughs> <laughs> As what? Up on my screen. <laughs> what? what? So basically, the skeleton will be holding the cloak, and I'll be the friend. Of the <laughs> so the skeleton. Sorry, <laughs> that just I just saw it. So so the skeleton what? The skeleton is the bone, the slime is the flesh, and the cloak holds everything together. Oh, interesting. That so sounds cute. So it's it's like looking through an X-ray. <laughs> or I'm trying to look more like the people around me. Yeah, so it, it's kind of like making that uh that gummy bear dessert where there's a skeleton on the inside. It's kind of like that. Uh, let's see. Choose bones or a zombie. If you choose corpse, DM describes a statistic. On each of your turns, you can use a bonus action to mentally command the creature. Within 60 feet of you to do whatever action you choose, you decide which the action to take. No commands. A creature under the control for 24 hours, after which it stops obeying the command you've given it. To maintain control of this creature for another 24 hours, you must cast a spell on that creature again before the current 24 hour period. So, what are we doing? This. But now we're just kind of. Use the rear. Okay, so you have to keep casting Animate Dead to control. <laughs> This creature. Okay. Every 24 hours, yeah. Yep. So, I, uh... I have a maximum of a two. So, uh, in Draconic, uh, Keisu will look at you, uh, Rory, and say, uh, I promised Jem here that you'd give her more shinies if we took care of whatever was making that loud noise. I just say, okay, let's go. Okay. Keisu says, okay, let's go, as she grabs the machete and shoves it down your, uh, bag of holding, Amelia. Yeah, you got a weapon. Don't don't use that weapon. <laughs> I only God, I, I only can't do anything. I only put it in your bag so we don't lose it. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like Amelia prone to accidents or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny, funny, funny. Okay, here's the intro. Here's the intro we got for Amelia. 
uh, the way she introduces herself to pretty much anyone is, Hello everyone, my name is Amelia Saros. Uh, genius, genius in my head. No, no, what was it? Yeah, no, no, it was, uh, dumb on books, but genius in my head. Meaning that she sucks at homework, but she is actually really smart. <laughs> yeah. So it's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to give you an idea of who Amelia is, she jumped into a hole that she couldn't see the bottom of because she heard there was gems on the wall. Oh yeah. I joined my soul for a gem. And that literally happened. Yes. She survived, luckily. But <laughs> um, so so you guys walk back to uh Ruri's room or or part of the cave. And Ruri just starts taking a bunch of gems off and uh, handing it to you, Amelia. I don't touch any of the green, uh, the glowing ones, though. Just make sure that I don't. Yeah, once more, they're emeralds. Wait, wait, what? They're, like, electric, so, like, they shock you. Oh. So I don't, so so I just don't I'm free to me. pick out gems, or is she giving me gems? She's giving you gems. Okay. I'm just basically picking up all of I the open my out. bag. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, as you, as you throw the item into the bag, uh, the item kind of disappears into darkness. And you just continue doing so. <laughs> you don't know how she's fitting all these things in her bag, but it's working. I started getting like, curious and I put my face in the bag. I was gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late! <laughs> Alright, you stick- We can both do it. <laughs> you, stick, you stick your face in the bag, and before you know it, you can't breathe. I like jump out and like, I'm oh, sorry. I know that I know we <laughs> make it live in there. Yeah, no human can live in there. <laughs> now I do it. All right, you see nothing but darkness. <laughs> I come out disappointed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just like, you can't see anything in there. I tried. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so. I couldn't breathe. Already. All right, all right. So we got your gems. Let's get on out of here. I have no reason to still be in here. Yeah, it's going anyway now. Okay. So you guys start walking away. And then you guys reach that three point uh, split again. And then Casey would say, in Draconic, um, what's what's over there? Which one? In that three, because remember there's that, that fork in a row, the three split? The middle or the left the, one? The middle. The middle. The middle. Yeah, so she's asking um, uh, Rory. Me. Yeah. You know what's over there? Um. And your answer will be no. Well, I was thinking. Well, I'm just trying to think if I like want to make it so that there is anything in there. I'm just gonna say no. No, I don't know. All right. And then she looks at you, Amelia. All right, Amelia. You know the rule about nook and cranny, right? Explore everything. Yep, so let's get going. And she goes she goes in down that hole. Oh wait, 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 wait. The hole the blue hole? The middle hole. The, so, oh, the so middle the, the middle in the, road. Yeah, in the three way split she goes down the the, the middle. <laughs> and so just, just saying at this point mm -hmm. the the elf and the NPC is known to pie as nook and cranny now. Okay. Mm hmm? Oh, that's cute. Well, I mean, she's she's been addressing Amelia as Amelia this whole time. Does not fit. Okay. So wait, what is he calling me now? Yeah, who's Nook? Who's Cranny? <laughs> He's cranny and the other one's Nook. Who? Wait, okay. wait, wait, what? Amelia is Cranny. Oh, okay. No, I'm Nook. You're Cranny. Okay. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it's a chihuahua that was in mud and it's like skinny because it's all in mud and it's shaved. What? No, I think it's a chihuahua photoshopped on a chimpanzee. No. What it's are not. you talking about? Because, it, show you. because a chihuahua does not have that long of legs. It looks like heels too, but I'm not really sure. It looks odd in the way, so. Anyways. So, uh, traveling down this tunnel. Uh, loops around uh, and and goes deeper down under. Yeah, that was like a 
Pomeranian photoshopped onto a other animal. Yeah. Uh. That's what happens when you go to Tumblr. Don't don't trust everything you see on Tumblr. Oh, I'm just like it's weird. Anyways, so you guys travel down this hole. And uh you guys would find at the end of it uh a a very very uh large uh bones and it's a, it's in the shape of a dragon wait wait the it's just a skeleton the shape it's of just a... A, it's just a skeleton of a dragon i like the way that it smells so i'm gonna go up to it and like start touching it i don't know why i'm is inspecting an, it. oh okay i was gonna say is that an enemy or no it's just it's just to symbolize what it is uh, inspecting it, uh, smells a lot like you. I'm gonna tell Keisu that why, uh, like, actually I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna be like, this smells, why does it smell like me? Uh, Keisu will then start to inspect it. Okay, I've I've seen enough dragons in my time. Uh, this this one, this one was a fire dragon, orange one. Probably found itself sleeping in here. I don't know why it's dead, but maybe maybe you 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 knew it or something. I don't know why it smells like you. Pie, did you eat it? <laughs> Hi. Is there anything like I can do to it other than inspect it? Uh, if you want, if you want like a more thorough search, you can you can try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roll, a, roll a d twenty. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, uh, I can't. I don't. Feel yeah, that. As aside aside from the fact that it smells a lot like you, uh, there's there's really uh, nothing that you can discern from from like who it is or what it was. I mean, you know it was a dragon, that's for sure. Yeah. But but aside from that, yeah, it, it just smells like you, and it, and it still baffles you. I'm gonna inspect the room. So roll a d twenty again. Uh, looking around from where you are, you see that there are several scratches along the walls. Uh, it seems to have been fighting something or someone. Uh, it, it, and like you do see some cracks in the wall where it has thrashed on the ground, but eventually, uh, whatever happened to this dragon, that dragon lost that fight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she, uh, Keisu goes to Amelia, and she's like, "So, what do you think is going on here?" So with the dragon, right? Yeah. Can I expect? Oh, see if there's any magic around or anything like that. Sure, or Kane. Seventeen. Okay, so you get the idea. That though the dragon is dead, right? Because once more it's just skeleton. Yeah. You you feel the slight essence, almost like a spirit, still uh being held within the the bones. Like there's still a part of the dragon that ties itself to this plane. Uh, should I mention this to the blob? The blob is currently. Huh. The blob is looking at you. Oh, um, it's the uh, pie. Yeah. Yeah. Pob is pie is looking at you. Is I'm not here. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, where's George? Yeah, George said BRB. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm back now. I'm oh, back. okay. But yeah, tell George what's happening. Alright, so so you guys see a a large dragon skeleton. Okay. And uh, along the walls, along the walls. You, you can justify that it has 
uh, been thrashing about before dying. It was fighting something before it died. Ah. I'm gonna, I tell Pi that there is an archaic, archaic, is it archaic? Uh, essence around the bones, and I would figure that Pi would know because got the hint that he's a necromancer. I just like dead things. Hey, you don't assume shit from me. No, um, yeah, all right. Uh, if she tells me all that, I'll go ahead and do, uh, an Arcana check. Arcana. Okay. okay, I was looking for that word. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and... Plus five. 19. Yeah, much much like um, uh, Amelia stated, uh, there does seem to be like a, still a spirit of this dragon, still not necessarily trapped, but is uh, imbued into the, the the bones. Like something is something it's holding its spirit here still. You know what? He technically has a body. I'm gonna try message. You're gonna try and message a dead dragon. Yes. It's draconic. It's dragon. All right. Are you think I cannot do this? Go. Uh, I'm not can stopping you. you. Well, can you? Can I'm you not... speak draconic? No. But most or dragons... does it matter what language? At this moment, I just want to see if something responds. All right. All right. So what do you say? Yeah. Friend. Rory, you hear the words friends in your head. I look at... I turn to the blob. Oh, actually, it's a word and... you don't understand. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, I noticed that it did it. I recognize the same so type wait, of technique the from said? before when he messaged me in Faye. Yeah. I mean, I still don't understand it, but I clearly recognize yeah. that it came from him. So, so uh, Pi tried to send an arcane message to the, to the, the bones of the dragon. Yeah. And he sent the word friends. And Rory got the message and turned around in reaction. Oh. Do I notice this this reaction? Yeah, she's looking straight at you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like dead centered, focused on you. Wiggle of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do I that told... every time you say wiggle. I'm so confused though, like I told Casey I just heard a strange word in my head in Draconic. Well, in Draconic, I tell her that, but I... Yeah, yeah. I'd obviously... Yeah, yeah. Heard. And then, uh, let's see if Casey understands what's going on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I do acid touch to the body and see what happens as I stare at the, uh, the friend. Uh, which part of the body? I'm gonna the say... The, the shoulder. The shoulder part. The shoulder's pretty high up. Okay, okay. so just... Okay, close this part to me. Which will probably be like the wrist area. Okay, wrist. Alright. Roll a d4. Acid damage. Oh. I swear to god, I thought you were going to say constitution check. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not... You're getting shot by poop darts. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, Rory, you get, you get burnt for one point of damage. On your wrist. I, I like jerk and like whimper in pain and like <gasps> stare at the blob like I think I like growl but I, I'm not like being aggressive really I just kind of like stop doing that since I can't communicate I'd like use animal noises yeah and then Casey will be like hey stop hurting her what are you doing so okay okay at this moment I put both hands on the what what is your character's name, Aurora? Rory. Rory. Yeah. Rory. Put it on Rory and the uh, creature, and I kind of shape my arms into like chains, and kind of like wiggle excitedly. What? Wait wait wait! Pull on the creature. Yeah. So, oh, so, yeah. okay. So I get what. Yeah. So because I don't know common very well, so. But you know how to communicate with uh, body language. Yes. So I make a chain out of my body and connect the two. So Keisu, Keisu would then translate to you, Rory, and say, I think 
Pi believes you two are connected or or something. Okay. I kind of just look kind of confused, like, kind of like, well, how? What? I don't get it. I'm just sort of confused and I don't understand. I'm no search around. Uh, make an investigation check. Investigation. Wait one second. Plus three. Oh. It's okay. I just want to see if you roll a one on this. You immediately check the cloak. <laughs> As there is a book on the inside. <gasps> oh my glove. Can anybody read? <laughs> oh yeah. I think K Su can read. Wait, did Amelia. he say it out loud? Did Pi say it? Amelia can read. I can read. I'm stupid but I'm smart. Okay, okay. <laughs> Classic Amelia. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, I missed that. I hold the book over my head, waving around like I found something important. Okay, so Amelia, you see a book being waved on top of this pie's head. I go up to him and jump and then grab it. <laughs> Alright, so. What the fuck? <laughs> you, so you open it? Yes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh god, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> You know the contents of this book now. You know everything on the inside and out. But you Is ain't it talking to me like a fucking thing. You ain't gonna tell anyone about it. I'm not okay. very about it. Nope. Why? Because <laughs> that's how Amelia feels right now. So wait, the voice is telling me. No, no. You opened the book, started reading it, and something about what you've learned from this book. You don't want to share with anyone. I close it and look blankly, blank, straight forward, and then just hands it back to me. No, buy. no, this book is precious to you now. Really? Yep. Oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My treasure. I take it back. Strength check. Strength check. Go for it. Go ahead. Just take it from me. Uh, let's see. No, you, no, you have to, you have to roll, Linda. Oh. Do I? Yes. Oh. Again, to to Amelia, this book is precious to her. Ten. I have a high strength, don't I? No. No? Okay, no. that's another character. Uh, so, oh, so Amelia beats you by one. God damn it! <laughs> yep. She rips it out of your, your slimy hands, and she stares at you in disgust. And she's like, this is my book. Mm. Anybody want to pitch in here? Take it away from me, please. I think it's a game, <laughs> so I try to reach for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make a you. check for both of you. <laughs> this is... Five, five, take it from me, take it. <laughs> well, unless she gets a one. <laughs> I swear to God. What, what do I roll? Roll a d20. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. She rips it out of your hands. Good. And, and Amelia... Someone just stole something precious from you. This is almost like stealing a gem from you. How are you reacting? I'm not really hostile towards all. Yeah, yeah, but they just stole one of your gems. That's not a gem. No, but you're yeah, treating but you it don't, like a right, you, you feel you're, like you're yeah. like under a spell, so yeah. like you don't I register. So if it, it was, <laughs> I what would you try to get? <laughs> So she pretty much leaps onto you. I still think it's a game, so I'm like trying to keep it away just for fun. <laughs> I, I, I Why is it like Keisu doing anything? <laughs> Seriously, like she's not watching. Because nothing bad seems to be happening. I mean, this is this looks like typical Amelia stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go ahead, uh, you guys. You guys fight for a while. Right, going back and forth, but it's obvious that Rory is definitely the stronger one. 
Okay, <gasps> uh, I do give me hands at Rory for the book. I toss it. Because, like I said, I think it's a game, so I have no idea what's happening. Okay. So and so she tosses it to Pi. Pi, you catch it. I find the smallest hole I could fit in with the book. <laughs> <laughs> so you you see this you see this this very very uh interesting looking uh slime folk uh run to the wall uh what seems to be uh uh about oh, yeah. yeah about 15 feet up into the air he uh, slithers his way up into one of the the cracks in the walls that was left by the the scratches of the dragon and snugs himself into that little tiny crack oh. <laughs> with with the large book dangling on the side because he cannot fit into the crack. But once more, it's 15 feet up into the air. You think that's going to stop Amelia? What's For Amelia, now? What's Amelia going to do? Try to find some sharp bones and climb up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doubt me. I'm okay. so good. I'm like curious about this, so I decided to address Kesu since she's the only one I can talk to in Draconic. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why does Jem want the book so bad? Or want the thing, because I don't know what it is. She would reply, to Jem, it's like her favorite toy, almost. The shiny rocks are are more her favorite, but those those books is her second favorite. So this is a normal <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a spell. It's a spell. Okay. Yeah. So question: When I crawled up the wall, did you did see I my leave, picture? Did I leave the skeleton right. on the ground? Yes. I used the skeleton to hold. Uh. Sorry, I just forgot your name. Rory. Amelia. Yeah. Amelia or Rory? Amelia. Okay. Probably Amelia. I so mean, not, is not, like not violently, but kind of like sure. block her. So, so Amelia, you you went to go look for some bones. The only bones around you is from that dragon. Those are pretty big. They're pretty big. I, I could. I, I you would could climb take, up them. You could take the claws. Uh, I was gonna say I would climb up them and try to jump off of that to get into the hole. Okay. Make a acrobatics check. I see how bad I am. 20 20 okay so so rory uh you start feeling these this like almost like a like some slight pressure on your spine as amelia runs up uh the back of this dragon and i'm uh, jerking about because it tickles <laughs> and then and as she and i'm making a lot of noise so now it's like obvious that something is happening to yeah. me and then from from the top of the dragon she leaps Towards, towards, uh, <laughs> towards <laughs> Pi. <laughs> yeah, towards Pi. And then she grabs onto, uh, grabs onto the book as, as your sledge slowly starts to droop. What are you doing, Pi? Well, hey, first slide. act, and I'm going to make the skeleton run in circles underneath us to catch us. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I open the book. Since he she's pulling on it, I open it. All right, make a wisdom saving throw. Saving throw is that plus the two too? Yeah. All right, you know the contents of this book, and you don't want to share it either. Um, Amelia. This guy just read through your personal diary. <laughs> 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 So she's, I have yeah. here. so she's trying to punch you in the face. Roll with disadvantage. Oh my god, seven. Roll again. Ten. Okay, so a seven does not hit as, as Amelia is just kind of flailing around, uh, yelling at you, Pi, for looking through her book. <laughs> Look at my goddamn god book. <laughs> so, so, question. What hmm. alignment is Amelia? Amelia is. What do you mean? Uh, chaotic good. Chaotic good. Mm -hmm. But she's a little kid, so. Sixteen. So, I thought she was fourteen. Okay, so so wait one second. So if I were to do this on a balanced scale of good and evil, what side would she be on? 
a scale of good or she, and evil. She is like, she is black good. And white. If like looking black. if looking just at black and white, she is good. Okay. Then uh, I but... have <laughs> what? This is not how the spell is supposed to be used, but I'm gonna use it that way anyways. What spell? I use protection from good and evil. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sure. And you choose. I use protection from good. Okay. That's how I choose. Aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undeads. So it does nothing. Have they fallen yet? Yeah, or are they still in the, like, yeah. on the like, cave wall? No, no. So, so George, that does nothing. I'll tell you that. That okay. does nothing. So, so if I were to use protection from evil, would it do anything to the book? Um, yeah. you don't you don't want to do that, George. No, but, but I feel he, in he danger thinks, that yeah. Amelia is going to take my book away from me, and this is evil to me. So I'm going to use protection of evil. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Go ahead. Okay. So let me read this. Uh, has this advantage as target? Target also can't be charmed, frightened, possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed as such, a creature the target has advantage on any new saving throw against the relevant. Target. Okay. Make a make a roll with advantage. A roll with advantage? Yep. And, and as for the, the part where uh, Amelia is slowly drooping down, it's it's just that, slowly drooping down. Uh, so, in my, in my game, rolling two of the same thing is an automatic success. If it was with advantage, it's a crit. So, oh, it's, a, so it's a success. success. So, uh, you break free. And you have the understanding that this book is now evil. It's a, uh, it's a fiend. It's a what? The book oh. is a fiend. A book is a... The book is a fiend. Fiend, oh, okay. Imagine Harry Potter, the, the yeah. book. Yeah, I, yeah, I just couldn't hear him say the word. I thought he said a thing. No. Yeah. But Amelia is still slowly drooping down, still holding on to the book. Okay, I lean forward as much as I can, starting to eat the book. Starting to what? Eat it. Okay, so so his sledge starts slowly uh, covering the book. And, and you can see that it starts to dissolve. What are you doing? Amelia. I panic and try to get it Alright, make a strength check with disadvantage because you're still just dangling. Nine. Nine. Oh, that's a success! <laughs> God damn it! So uh, as what this? As I'm trying to save yeah, you, Amelia. Yeah, as as you are slowly covering the book, Amelia thrusts her hand into into your uh, into your slime, using both hand and the the wall to kick herself off away from you. She lands on her back, covering, uh, uh, shielding the book with her arms as she slides. <laughs> And then a skeleton catcher. No, because she kicked yeah. back. She kicked back. So so then oh, kick. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you would have taken six, eight points of bludgeoning damage as you fell. Yay. Uh, and then KC would have say to you and Draconic. Okay, that's not normal. And then and then walk up to Amelia, and she's like. Mm Amelia, are are you okay? Don't touch my book. Don't touch my book. I I, I won't. Like a beetle position. <laughs> Just like don't touch it. I I won't I won't touch your book. I I won't. But are are you okay? Is your back fine? It's on my book. Fine. Don't touch it. Okay. And it, <laughs> and then she says she says in draconic to uh to Rory. Something's wrong with her. This isn't her. Yeah. Mask. What do you want? I'm gonna I'm gonna respond in Draconic. What do you want me to do? Well, we have to be careful Cause about this because we don't want to hurt I'm her. I'm strong enough to get the book away from her. Well, duh. I love Jim. I'm not gonna hurt her. Mm. Okay. We need to find someone to possibly remove a spell. Cause I think she's being, uh, she has a spell on her. So, 
Just please give me some healing too. <laughs> I'm just... not like I'm just like reminding you. Please give me healing. So so Rory, the plan is be nice to her until we find someone who can remove this spell off her. Okay. 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 And then uh, she looks up at Pi. She's like, Pi, you coming with us? We're gonna go home. Wiggles happily and slides down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Come on. I really love Pi. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Amelia. Pie is pretty Amelia, it's safe. You can stand up now. No one's gonna touch your book. My back, butch. <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> so, Amelia, I still you still have the rope tied around you. Please don't make me drag you back home. Drag me. <laughs> She's, and, and she starts dragging her. So I message to fill in uh, the NBC about what's happening. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but you have broken English, so what do you say? Page thing bad. Page thing bad. And then she would, because you could reply with message. Yes. Uh, she would reply, I know. Just be nice to her. We're finding a way. I eat. Be nice to her. We'll find a way. Then you Would eat. Would eating it still make wait the spell? Don't know. I know it's bad. I want to eat it. It's a hu <laughs> it's a creature now, which means I eat. All right, all right. So we've been playing for a while now, boys. So uh, we need to do more of this. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna end I, it. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> Uh, the nearest town is not too far away, luckily, so you guys got there, no problem. So that's where we'll start off. If we play again, that's where we'll start off next time. Sound good? Okay. Yes. All right. Woo.